Okay, so I figured out how to run SCP Container and Breach on my old ass computer. And I can't guarantee this will work for yours, but I hope it will. My computer's like uh, an old Windows XP Surface Pack 3. Just a really old, old computer. It's great. Now, the thing is, when I try to run it, because we got a second computer in the family room, and when I attempt to run it in there, it works just fine. Now, when I try to run it on my computer in my room, it um, gives me the memory access violation, which I see a lot of people have. And then I got it to run, and it still ran like shit. And then I figured out how to get it to run semi decent in a couple of easy steps. Question mark. I just kept messing around with shit and eventually it started working. So I got I hid that version in my it's version 1.3.7 because that's the latest version uh while well, the time this is recording because I just checked it like 5 minutes ago. And uh I took that version, just threw it in my game folder or whatever, and then I downloaded a new copy of the same version. And I'm going to attempt because I I noticed a lot of people have issues running this game or whatever. Or maybe just a few people, I don't know. But I'm going to try to get it to work again and take you through how I'm doing it. So just in case you're using Windows XP Service Pack 3 or you're using some kind of old ass computer or something or, you know, whatever. And if it does work, it works. I, like I said, my computer's old as shit, so I'm not going to be recording. Which means no OBS or anything. Nothing fancy like that. So I've got a set of screenshots of my desktop of the SCP folder, you know, etc, cetera, etc, cetera, that I've done so far, that I could do before the recording started, and then I'm going to do a few more as I get it to work, and I'm going to figure out how to get it to work. Uh, again, I'll figure this out. So normally when you open the SCP Continuing Reach folder, and you click on the, um, the EXE, it gives me, it brings up the launcher, uh, and the default is 1280 by 720 and mine is 1024 by 768 so I'm going to click that and I don't think anything is checked except use launcher which I'm going to leave open don't ever uncheck use launcher because then it won't open again ever but you can go to the options and change that the options configuration file which will be changing shit in there in the hot second because that's what I did to get it to work. Uh, so, 1024 over 768. I mean, I've only got my primary display driver, you know. Because like I said, my computer's old as shit. Uh, don't, actually, I'm going to check full screen. And I'm going to check, s yeah, just that. Full screen, use launcher. And then it minimizes. I mean, if I choose not to be full screen it doesn't minimize as you can see in the screenshot that I took and it just says memory access violation error memory access violation gives me ok that's it and then the, you yeah, see in the bottom the taskbar X's out which is nice I guess so I don't have to fucking open up the task manager and do that myself it'll be the first time uh... let's see so at first I'm gonna go into the options see what I can mess with now exa I'm going to do exactly what I did last time. So I'm going to make the... W I'm going to take a screenshot of the options. Just... Just in case... I don't know why I... Why I wouldn't do that, but, you know, whatever. Just name it. There. Okay. Um... So I'm going to change the width to 640 by 480. So width would be six. No, just, just the width is 640, and the height is 480. For now, because that's what I'm gonna take you through the steps that I exactly what I did, or at least attempt to, because I I have no fucking clue. I can't be arsed to remember everything. So full screen is gonna be true. Borderless window is gonna be false. GFX driver, I'll leave that one. Audio driver, I'll leave that zero. Uh, remember this is version 1.3.7. I can't guarantee that it'll work at all or that it'll work for later versions or previous versions. Not that you'd be using a previous version anyway unless you, I don't know, 
for some reason something's different or whatever and you like the old version, it's fine. I can't guarantee this will work for everybody, but this works for my computer, and if it works for you, that's great. But I know my computer's old as shit, so... Okay, full screen's true, borderless... So, with the 640, height is 480, full screen is true, borderless windows is false. You know, that... I mean, if it's not, then change that. Graphics driver is one. Uh, it's GFX, it says on mine. Audio driver is zero, for some reason. Whatever, leave that. And I don't know the technicalities of this shit. Like, I don't know what this shit means, half this shit means anyway. Like, I'm not like, oh, change this, because it fucking does this. No, I just fucked around with shit and got it to work, and I'm going to do it again, so that hopefully, because that's how I do shit, uh, usually, getting shit to work. And the frame rate I got, finally, was about 30, so, and for me, I fucking, I would have leaped had I not been sitting in a chair for joy because I finally get to play this game because it's a great game. Okay, brightness is 50, standard. Screen game is 1.0. I think that's standard. Or I'm assuming it's standard because I just fucking downloaded it. So width and height are changed to 640 and 480 respectively. Uh, show frames per second is 0, frame limit 0. V-Sync, I want to change that to 0 because I think I did that. I mean, you can you can continue to change shit and fuck around with shit yourself. I entirely encourage that, because that's how I get shit to work, and that's how I... Because I heard some shit about moving the container breach folder into, like, some other place to get rid of the memory access violation. I can't be arsed to do that. I figured out how to change it so that it did work or whatever. And I think VSync... I think I get what that is, but I'm going to change it to zero, because I think I remember doing that. And I might try changing it back afterwards. Uh, all that other stuff is fine. Fog, fog, fog. Map size, fine. Achievement pop-up enabled. In an older version, when I had that enabled, it would crash the game instead of do a pop-up. So I'm going to change that to zero. Bump mapping enabled. I'm going to change that to zero. I mean, the game's going to look like shit. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's going to look like absolute shit. Um... I'm gonna leave that. Okay. Anti alias, or anti alias, whatever the fuck you wanna call it. I'm gonna change that to zero. Because in an older version, when I turned on uh, text, anti alias text, uh, it would crash the game and not let me to open it ever again until I changed it back. S Actually, I don't think I did it at the time, know how to go into the options and change it back, so I'm gonna make that zero. HUD is still one. Intro, zero. Room lights, make that zero. Room lighting, all that kind of lighting and shit. Because, like I said, my computer's old as hell. And it's really not that good for. What is that lighting called? Not room lighting, it's called something else. Some fucking lighting shit in Zanjin or whatever, so. Texture details, I'm gonna make that one for now. I don't know if that's actually going to change anything, but I'm going to try it anyway, because I think I did before, and it worked. 16-bit, false, leave that for now. Anti-alias text is zero, that's fine. Particle amount, I'm going to make that one. Check for updates, true. Play startup video, highlight true, and type false, because I have nothing wrong with Undertow games, but... Believe me, in every game, if I had a chance to skip the fucking, you know, the company intro thingies, I would love to do that. And that might be what's causing the memory access violation. I don't know. I don't know what that is. But I know it was there before. It didn't let me start the game. And now it's not there. So, hmm. Okay. Audio. I'm going to leave that shit. Binds. Leave that shit. Launcher. Leave that shit. Console, leave that. Map creator, leave that. Okay. Click file, click save, X that out. The moment of truth. Okay, so open up the launcher, and it should open up the launcher since you left it there. If it didn't, you should make launcher, or you use launcher true. Uh, 
now it should have two. S okay, now it should have a setting for 640 by 480 in there uh, for the resolution already highlighted. If you want to leave it like that, that's fine, because that might boost up your game a little bit. But I'm going to change my back to 1024 by 768 because I did that before. And make sure full screen is checked. Use launcher is checked. You can check for updates on launch. Don't ever update the game because they ain't got they ain't got that down pat yet. They don't because I had and I'm not riffing on them or nothing. They can you know do whatever they want. And I don't expect them to have the update thing because that's kind of like a new thing that check for update stuff. If I were you, I would just get. I mean, it's not like the saves in this game. It's not like it's a super long game or anything. So saves, whatever. Screw that. Just fucking get the newer version of the game off the website and download the zip. Takes a little longer, but I downloaded the updates and fucked up one of my copies, which isn't that big of a deal. Like I say, you can just get another version, but whatever. So I'm gonna check for updates anyway. Uh, primary display driver doesn't have to be highlighted but it's if it's the only selection and it isn't clicked on already it'll use that by default so or I'm assuming it does since I can see the fucking game uh, use launcher and I'm gonna check 16-bit because if I don't have 16-bit checked the game will run but it will run like we're talking one frame every second because my computer's slow as shit but when I check that the colors look beyond fucked but, so you don't have to check that. If your computer's really fast, or you think it is, you don't have to check that. But if it is super slow, and you want to up upgrade it with that 16-bit, you know, whatever. Uh, then I'm going to click launch. Moment of truth. Here we go. Oh, I hear it. And loading, 40%. There's a coffee machine. SCP-294. I'll take a... No, I'm not going to take a screenshot. It's not going to be worth it. God, the sound in this game is frightening as shit. I should have Sweet Home Alabama playing. Okay, I'm going to go into the options. You should adjust your screen gamma if the game you feel like it's too dark in-game. Don't change anything in the options. Except... No, I don't think you got to change anything in the options. I'm going to click Show Frames Per Second in the Advanced section so that I can show you my frame rate. Click New Game. Best seed is Swamp. Believe it or not, great seed. And name Shrek, cause I'm fucking retard. Uh, I've also got Audacity open, so it might be a teensy bit slower than it was normally. And I also have Razer Game Booster, but I have like an old ass prototype version that works on in Windows XP anyway. Which is funny because they say that the newer version it doesn't, and they stop you from running it if you got Windows XP, which is funny because it works anyway. Could be a conspiracy, but whatever. Uh, let's see. No aggressive NPCs save anywhere, sure. Start the game up. It takes absolutely a fuck long to load right now and continuously it just takes forever to load which is fine you know I don't care it runs so you know it just takes a bit to load okay press any key to continue all that damn good for me you know it says 30 it says 34 frames per second, but I kind of don't believe it because it feels better than that to me. Not that I know anything about that. I'm kind of shitty with that. Just post and say this screenshot. And okay, I'm gonna take a screenshot of the in-game with the frame rate, but I'm gonna approach a wall inside I hope the sound isn't playing because it's gonna overpower my voice which is gonna suck you're gonna see what I mean by 16-bit colors in a hot second as soon as fucking 173 leaves okay now I'm gonna get to a standard hallway room and take a screenshot and minimize it I love this game so much okay 
and then now you'll be able to see a nice as you could what does it say in the screenshot for my frames per second 27 that's not bad that ain't bad I'll tell you that that's not bad at all and normally the game runs at like a solid one I mean the frames per second counter I feel like it's running a lot better than it says it is so you know oh by the way if you have it actually switched to 640 by 480 like I told you to originally and you didn't change it when I gave it the chance to to 1024 by 768 or whatever your native res ah whatever if you didn't change it it's gonna be the uh, as you can see the well no you can't see it because it's not there because I'm using it in my native resolution but if you have it in 640 by 480 or whatever or a smaller resolution the the blink counter and the stamina counter are larger and the pictures and the loading screens are larger, you know, etc., etc. I don't know exactly how to fix that, nor do I really care. Because it's not that big of a deal to me. Because I just run it in my regular resolution anyway. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I could just, I could exit the game now. Yeah. Okay, so that's how I did it. You might not, it might not work for you, which I hope it does, because I enjoy this game a lot, and I want yeah, everybody to be able to play it, because it's a great game. But, if it doesn't work, that sucks, 